Hey guys, good afternoon, more Medic One. Uh, today I'm going to do a little tool review on a uh, lifting jack for ATVs and uh, riding mowers. I've done, you know, uh, my homework on this before I bought it. Um, there's several different uh, manufacturers out there for these little lifts. Uh, Mojack is one of them. Uh, Sears and Roebuck sells one. Craftsman. Um, Tractor Supply has their brand. Uh, this one just happens to be a Pittsburgh, and uh, yes, it came from Harbor Freight. And um, with the 25% uh, uh, coupon, I was able to get it for about $59. Uh, I think the Mojack is somewhere around three, four hundred dollars, and uh, it does the same thing. Uh, this one is a little bit lighter than the Mojack. Uh, this one actually has a hydraulic cylinder where the Mojack either has a uh, screw or I think it's uh, lifted by a cable. Uh, we'll get this unboxed and uh, we'll get it looked at, put together, and uh, we'll see how it works. It comes pretty well packaged. Uh, let's go ahead and get everything unboxed. oversized wheels they don't have bearings in them but uh, it's not like you can pull it in a long way let's go ahead and uh, get it put together shouldn't take that much I'll kind of walk through it step by step with you basically <coughs> excuse me the uh, comes with a bag of uh, pins everything pretty much just pins together on this one and uh, this just sits down in here find your bag of pins no bruise any of them say to run uh, this pin this pin was already installed take it out and when you cam this forward it, you're able to put the pin through the mainframe uh, you can undo this pin pull that pin and everything just folds up it's pretty nice so let's go ahead and get the ram installed somebody or an assistant to help hold this up while you work but it'll be all right. Put your 
washer. Put in the clip. Next step, we're going to install the ram itself to the lifting arm. It's got clips on both sides. You only need to undo one side. spacers here. That just keeps the lifting arm from walking back and forth or in the ground. These pieces are kind of cheesy, but uh, they work. I think I'm going to uh, probably end up replacing those with some bonafide spacers. Clip. And install the foot pedal. And it's a 10 millimeter, I believe. And it's the only one on here. It requires a, a wrench. Nice diamond plate foot pad. And at this point, You'll be able to see the operation of this thing. As you can tell, it's fairly quick. And uh, the height is going to be pretty darn good. Go ahead and pull it in. And since there's no weight on it, it's probably going to be heck to try to get down. It will go. What are you doing, Mom? Give me that picture right there. Oh, you want to go down with it? Put your foot on it. I need your help while I go. I have to chase some kids. <laughs> The pads that the mower or the ATV go on are fully adjustable in and out like this for different size wheels and tires. Just play with it to where it fits in the slots like that. So you can extend it on out for larger tires. Uh, larger wheel bases, you can adjust it also. This way, in or out. Everything's new and tight. It's kind of stiff a little. But uh, let's get an ATV on here. I uh, don't have a riding mower at the moment, but uh, we'll get it lifted up and we'll put this thing to work, see how, see how it does. As you can tell, I'm going to have to adjust this, uh, the tire pads or the, <coughs> the jack pads for a wider stance, so let's go ahead and get that lined up. And then 
basically going to have you're going to drive the piece of equipment up and until it stops. Set the parking brake. Fuel the machine. And it fits those tires really well. Let's go ahead and get it jacked up. stops and then put your stop pin through and let it down on the pin and you got plenty of room to uh, get up underneath the machine especially if it was a uh, riding mower you could uh, do the blades on it and uh, without any problem and for the money like I said about fifty-nine dollars for that jack, and those of you who are probably wondering uh, about the wheel seal on my four-wheeler. I'm still editing that video. I file got corrupt, but uh, don't worry, it's coming. To let it down, just step on the release. Or no, <laughs> got to raise it up a little first. Pull the pin out, then you can let it down. I like it. Um, like I said, I looked at all of them, and uh, for the money, this one does everything I need it to do. I also got a project going on over here. It's a 2009 Honda Foreman 500. The uh, the U joints uh, blew out in it, and I'm gonna get the U joints in, and I'm gonna make a video on it. Uh, swing arm bushings are toast on it too. I'll show you the uh, yokes. The spider actually broke right there. And uh, this comes as all one assembly. When you buy that, it comes both joints and then the spider. And then uh, there's a shaft and a spring and some seals. But uh, we'll get it all in and we'll see how it turns out. But anyway, y'all have a good rest of the weekend. And uh, I've been on a little hiatus lately. In case you hadn't known, I hadn't made a video in a while. And uh, well... I don't want to apologize for that, but also I just want to say that uh, I just needed some time off, and uh, I did it. <laughs> I may have lost some subscribers over it, but I uh, hope you all understand that I have family and have a full-time job, too. So, And this you know, lawn mowing season is just about over with. It's uh, here in uh, Rockwall. It's about 78 degrees today, and... Uh, Last weekend at uh, this time, it was 30 degrees outside, so that's Texas weather for you. But anyway, y'all have a good rest of the weekend, and uh, stay tuned, and we'll make some more videos, I promise. But anyway, more Medic One. Have a great day.